<clears throat> so, Stiggy Stig, you make your way over to uh, uh, the Azar shop in the uh, Path of Money to find that it is closed for the first time and you've ever known. What is... What... Out of character, what is the shop normally selling and Goldsmith. such? Goldsmith. Normally, okay. Mm -hmm. Goldsmith. It's uh, like a jewel errs or goldsmithing. Mm, okay. Ha! Uncle Asmus is a talented dude. Mm -hmm. Alright, and is it like a shop that's part of a house, or just uh, something that's completely separate? He probably lives in an apartment above the thing. Or like a... There's probably a room above the shop, yeah. yeah. He has a loft above the shop that he stays in. Yep. Uh, well, if there's no front door I'm going to knock on, I'm going to find some pebbles and just start hitting the window with them. Uh, you get some some odd stares from the people on the street, but uh, no one answers the door. Or, like, no one comes down or yells at you from in the shop. I'm going to start flicking pebbles at the window. Not rocks. Pebbles. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. Are any of the other shops next to it open? Yes. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the one on the right and say, hey, you know what happened to the Azars? Uh, well, I mean, technically, he's not an Azar. Your yeah. contact wouldn't. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what happened Remember? to Remember? Mother's brother, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, he just closed shop. I assumed it was because uh, Tempest called everyone to the to the square. Hasn't made a bat yet. Back yet? Not okay. yet. That case, I'll wait around for like an hour, and if he's still not there, then yeah, no, he he doesn't show up in the hour you wait. Ha. Huh. I'll come back later. Okay. So where are you going now? I'll go back to the house. Alright. So we're going to say that your entire durations, you both uh, coalesce outside the house. Okay. Both groups of you guys coalesce outside the house. So I'm having a hard time doing the whisper GM thing. Like, is it... Slash GM. Or slash W. Slash GM. Slash GM. Yeah. Okay. Slash... Yeah. What's accent? Oh, Okay. Or That's you can just do slash W and then put in deus and nominee. Okay. Oh, no, I, I get usually it. usually just find it easier to slash yeah. W space GM. Yeah, it's faster. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll wait for whatever that whisper is. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Or do I have to do rolls for that? No, we can agree on that. That's fine. Okay. All right. Sweet. Uh, but before, uh, as you guys meet outside the door, there is a, uh, a knife with a letter. Uh stabbed into the wooden door and uh, the entrance of the house. Addressed uh, to Mercury. <gasps> I'm going to pick it up and hope it's not in fucking high gothic. <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> How do you open it? Explosive <laughs> burns. <laughs> you said it's oh, stabbed it to the door? Anthrax letters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's stabbed through to the door. Alright, so I grab the letter and pull the knife out. Okay. So. Fold it open. Yeah, is it in an envelope or is the no? It's just, just paper? folded over. Yeah, it's okay. just paper folded over. In that case, uh, I open it up. All right. A mote of dust hits your face as you open it. Moving on. <laughs> it simply says, <laughs> "Can I dodge that?" <laughs> dodge the mote of dust. Right. Minus fifty. Make a, <laughs> make a minus forty dodge, and you can dodge it. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't allow you because you don't. Or, actually, you have lightning reflexes. You'd have to roll for yeah. that and then. Yeah, I don't have lightning reflex. It's a. Uh, well, yeah, you have the reflex. Rapid reflexes. Yeah. So, should I roll rapid reaction? Yeah, roll rapid reaction. Otherwise, it just hits you in the face. Wait, what <laughs> just right. happened? Wait, don't worry about it. He's trying to negate surprise. That's what's oh. going on. Oh, I guess that's just based off of my agility, so I'll yeah. just roll agility. <gasps> All right. I'll roll dodge minus 20. Uh, 
Damn it. Oh. The mode of dust hits you in the face. Do you want to spend dust. a fate point? No. <laughs> because I'm still uh, going to miss the dodge. It is written but at least in, I noticed it. It is written in very beautiful penmanship, and it says, Meet me at the Swamp of Night Secrets tonight after the moon is full in the sky we we have a lot to discuss um from our mutual friend Cyphus. uh postscriptus come alone i don't see that anywhere on the map i don't know where i'm going it's be able to you cross alone. over and then you go down wait left where is he and going? down the swamp Next of the down here yeah right here oh Come on, come on, Zach. I was I was looking Stop for a body a of water. Stop being a derp. Okay. It's twice now. Uh. I guess I'll move you guys since the rest of you don't. Sorry. Feel like moving your tokens to where you are. I forgot how to create a token, by the way. It's okay. I'll make it. Eventually, someday. I didn't know you could. Mm -hmm. I thought we st I thought we just like went over that earlier. I just wasn't paying attention. So, anyways, that's all you see. Uh, you have the note. You read the note. Okay. Uh, go ahead and. Uh... Uh... Yeah. People suck. Fucking whisper me on roll twenty or something. Like give a shit. So why was there a note stabbed in the door? <coughs> now we can just say it's done. Okay. Then uh, I slipped that into my pocket without either of you noticing. Did they not notice there was a yeah, they might have noticed the, the note, but they We yeah. saw the note with the dagger <laughs> yeah, in the fuck fucking door. <laughs> the note's in my pocket, though. Yeah, and I'm you asking don't know where it went. you... I don't care where it went! <laughs> where else would it have gone? I burned it. Congratulations! Why was there a fucking note stuck in the door? I don't know. Well, you got a free dagger out of it. Yeah. I think I might go sell that back uh, to Alistair. Looks nice. For cool. a whole five maybe gelt. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I don't need a second one. To throw to people. Right, well. Someone comes in during the night wanting to kill you. I'm not going to stop him. Um, I don't think you'd be able to anyways. But thanks for your efforts. You tend to doubt a lot. Fuck. I'm, I'm just gonna walk past him and go inside. Look, nobody's getting past you, Stig. When you go inside, plant. Well, in this case, I would let someone get past me. The first thing you see is a cloak on the floor. Who else and is in here now? A couple of feet away from that. There's a dress on the floor. And then on the couch, there's a hardened body glove just sort of like laying on the couch. And I then also there's a girl. All of those things. Okay. Uh, you there's a girl a dress? sitting on the couch. Uh, there's a satchel next to the couch, and she's holding a nice little bag. And she looks surprised when she sees all three of you walk in. But she says, Those are mine. Stig, you been getting busy without us? Merch's just gonna flat out ignore and go back to his room. Okay. She follows him. Those are mine. I didn't actually fucking pick him up. Oh, I thought you did. No, I was just joking. Because he was bitching about me putting the note in my pocket. <laughs> I didn't think you would think I seriously put because I don't have a backpack that's like oh, armor, a dress, and other things, and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Mine now. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's in my pocket because I can't see I got him. All right. Anyways, I ignore her and walk to my room. She just kind of watches him go and then looks at the two of you and smiles. So, Stig, you are you going to answer my question? A day or two? Oh, wait, that, that was directed towards me? Yes, I asked you if you When were... he said Stig, have you been getting oh. lucky without oh, us? I thought that was, said... yes, directed <laughs> towards I, I you, Stig. <laughs> For some Merc reason, was I also was ignoring so Flint. <laughs> when he called me Stig, I was insulted. 
That is the lowest. Ah, yeah, good to know. Lower than that mode of dust. Yeah, but the... great dodge, by the way. <laughs> Wait. <it's... laughs> that needs to be a highlight. Just that the <laughs> dust. <laughs> <laughs> I do have dashboard for you. I'm gonna do it. Anyways, it's gonna be great after the stream. After well, stream. You know, what are yeah, you doing? I know. Wait, uh, what did you say, Sting? I didn't hear it. I'm not even talking to you. I, I immediately turned to her. I know, but what he did said, you say? Polina, what are you doing here? Okay, I I couldn't hear it. Sometimes Skype get all angry when two people talk at once, and I can't. She she sort of pouts at you and she says well I know how long you've been in town and you still haven't come to see me yet been in town for a day and a half exactly so and you didn't come to see me excuse me and she like looks super angry I mean you know her <laughs> yep. and look I even bought a present and she has just a long gift bag in her hand. Okay, hold on. I walk in the door. <laughs> there's clothes on the ground. <laughs> and she's pissed you haven't come to see her. You're a hooker. <laughs> Wait, are you talking to me or him? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I'm talking really to you. Obviously oh, talking to Stig. <laughs> <laughs> what? Danny, who are you talking to? Because I'm dead. You. <laughs> me? Yes, I called Obviously. you a hooker. She looks really upset, and she, but she just kind of ignores you. She's like, you've made some charming friends. Yeah. Merc sticks his head out of the room. I don't like you either. <laughs> I said one word. No, I think he's talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just wants to remind you, Stig. She's wearing a sundress. It just was... I don't know. This is Merc we're talking about. I wouldn't put it past him. Merc just By the way, she's out. not way, naked. She you, is Stig. wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record. So, care to explain? No, not really. You can go join your friend in the other room. I have because things to discuss with him. As of right now, I don't I know back who out you with are. My backpack, by the way. Okay. I wasn't just like fucking off for the night. <laughs> I don't know who you are, I know who Stig is, and this is my home, and you're in my home. This is your home? Yeah, it's our home. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Tempest's home. Alright, well it's on loan to us. Yeah. And that motorcycle. I... <laughs> she starts talking to Devin, in, or she starts talking to Stig in High Gothic. Who the I can understand it. Shit! Uh, no, no, she starts talking to him in High Gothic. Yeah, but she starts, she starts <laughs> talking in High Gothic. Understand it. Guys. <laughs> Proceed. Uh, there are two. There are a couple of guys I met up with on the way out of Grya. Call them the best friends. Call them traveling companions. We play dummy swords. <laughs> <laughs> I she won. Decides, and she's like, well, "Are you going to come over and get your gift, or are you going to make a lady walk all the way across the room?" You got really close to the microphone just to say that made it. That much better. <laughs> and she's speaking back in low gothic again. What did she say in high gothic? Just who the fuck are these guys? Oh, that complicated sentence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, Stiggle shrug and walk over. She gives him a big hug and she hands him the bag, which contains a bottle of Amasek. Flint now permanently believes Hooker. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Flint roll scrutiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I want to see how this turns out. You're going to make me happy. Watch him roll another one and completely deduce exactly who she is. That would be amazing. <laughs> be terrible. She hands you the bag. She gives you a hug. She goes and picks up her stuff and puts it back in her satchel. Did you just leave that out for him for no reason? Yeah, why was there clothing on the ground? Well, originally I was going to hide in one of the rooms, and 
then when you started saying you were picking the shit up, I didn't want you to, so I decided to stay outside. Good. Anyway, we yeah, she picks up her one. stuff, she puts it in the satchel. She goes, so what are your plans now that you're back in town? Are you following Tempest out? Uh, not right now. I was actually gonna... I was actually gonna try and talk to you guys. Tempest said you were having hard times, or... Something? She looks kind of, um... She looks a little bit concerned, and then she looks at the other two, and she asks in High Gothic, Can we really discuss this here? Merch just starts yeah. mumbling random bullshit in Hive Dive. <laughs> <laughs> he knows nobody can understand him, but he's, he doesn't like getting left out. Oh, let's take a look at her. Wouldn't you know better than me? Is it, is it something we can discuss around other people? And this is all in High Gothic. Mm -hmm. Uh, No. I mean, if it's a job, it's not exactly the kind of thing that we would want everyone to know, especially if it's about my family. By the way, Uncle says hi. Okay, stop. You know what? We're going to try this from the beginning. And I get behind her and I start pushing her towards the door. <laughs> Turns around and tries to slap him. Flint, stop. Don't ever put your hands on me. I don't know who the fuck you are, and She's you're talking in high gothic. She's Mert can't me. understand you, and he's just babbling, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> you don't know I can't understand it. Actually, you do. He does. I've asked you to yeah. He's like aware. Six times. <laughs> he's aware that you don't know high gothic. He's the only wait, one who's aware. Wait, are you saying all this in low gothic or in high gothic? Yeah. Low. He's saying the same. Okay. okay. So everyone can understand us. All right. Because Danny's not a jerk like we are. <laughs> Flint, she's with me. Well, who the fuck is she? That's a great question, Flint. I have no reason to trust her right now. The name is Paulina, and I have no reason to trust you. All right. Get the fuck out of the house, then. Yep. No, Go. no she's staying. I have more uh, of a right to take a vote. than you do. All people who currently live in this house who wish her to leave... Two to one majority. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll pull. No, I'll pull out my two swords. Huh? What do you know? I have two votes. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. Let's all keep our testosterone in our pants. Calm down. It's not centrally located there. It's really not. It's produced there. It doesn't matter. It's, you also really don't matter. know what testosterone is. I know. I was just about to say that. All right. Let's all keep our swords in our pants. Alright, well, so I'm just don't start there. And his employer. Hey, Yoko, Yoko. My man, and I'm. Oh, you're um, offering jobs? And she just kind of looks at you. Uh, I'm his friend, occasionally his employer. How and then she kind of gets this, like, playful grin. I don't know what else we are, but those are the two that are relevant right now. Okay. Is that how you can afford this nice house? This isn't my house. I keep telling you that. He works for. Uh, she looks at. She looks at you, and she in low gothic. She's just like, "Don't they know you work for Tempest? I mean, that's not exactly a secret." I felt like I had made it obvious by now. Flint, did he make that obvious to us? Not, not he really. He really did. <laughs> God says. <laughs> Echoing through Flint's mind. Guys, we need to leave. <laughs> We're getting out. <laughs> it doesn't feel safe here. Hey, man. God knows what's up. I'm fine. knows. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Um, I look at I look at Stig, and in High Gothic, I ask one more question: Can I trust them with basic information? Consider consider them normal people. Trust them with what you uh, trust a normal person. With. I look at Merc, and I go, "She asked if she can trust us with basic information." Her eyes kind of 
widen and then she looks sort of put out but she turns to the two of you and she's like my name is Paulina Azar I happen to be the daughter of one of the noble families here Stig is someone that I would like to hire to do a job what kind of job I don't We're necessarily buddies. think she looks at you she looks at Stig she looks at you again. And then she looks at Stig. Buddies? Yeah, the best of friends. Stig's gonna raise an eyebrow at this, but gonna continue to watch. Uh, and she just sort of looks at both of you and goes, Well, generally, I like the people in my employ to have some semblance of respect. And not call me a hooker. Well... I didn't Funny you, you should say that, because I too like that, and you're in my house, and I didn't invite you in. Not your house. Think we've and your clothes this. were strewn about the floor. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't kept clean. She, she when sighs. When you're talking she, to she, me she, about respect, no. She sighs, and she says, all right, I apologize for the clothes on the floor. When I first got the information, as far as I knew, only Stig was here. I'm just surprised that we didn't walk in to find you naked. I'm surprised you found me at all. She looks at Stig. Really? Really? What? I didn't tell anyone I was staying here. Really? <laughs> Are we just going to say drugs. that over and over again? <laughs> yeah. Really? Enter like, we've known each other for four years. If you're in this city for more than a day and I can't find you, I'm probably dead. Yeah, okay. She looks she looks Mercury over and she's like So now that I've apologized, can we just start over? Or would you like me to leave and knock first? Actually and that would make quiet. me really happy. I wasn't going to ask you. <laughs> but it would give the illusion that we hadn't just dealt with this. So if you could. Right. She picks up her satchel, she leaves, she knocks. Don't answer it. Hey, Stick, someone's go at the door. And she opens you it up again, because it's not say. like it's locked. You should probably go answer it. Hi, it's Stig. your house, right? Come on in, Paulina. Stig just she rolls in, his eyes. She puts her Who's this <laughs> fine young lady? Yeah, he's just going to ignore him. We're starting over. We need to go with Stig, you don't understand how this of, works. She kind of laughs a little bit, and she goes, I like his manners. Maybe you could learn something from him, Stig. Eh, probably not. <laughs> Good. She goes, Stig, refusing I'm Paulina, to learn. an old friend. It's nice to meet you, Paulina. And you would be? I didn't realize that Stig would... had friends over. My name is Merc. This is my companion, Flint. And I extend my hand and shake it. It is a pleasure to meet you. Wonderful. Uh, so she she looks at um, she looks at Stig and says, "I see you got the present I left you. Are we gonna open that up or what? Do I know if we? I'm gonna go into the kitchen and see if there are any glasses in here." Oh no, my indirect kissu! <laughs> Are there any glasses in the damn house? No. It's gonna have to go completely from the bottle. Apparently, the way I like it. She pulls out two glasses from her satchel. I, I didn't see two. that. I didn't see that in there. <laughs> you do not have glasses. Damn go it. fuck off. I just looked at your sheet. <laughs> Damn it. Finally. All right. She doesn't have. I've glasses. got some bottles. She says, "I would have thought you would have at, le at least have glasses in here." This isn't my house. For fuck's sake, all of you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yes, 
because I add that talent along with contortionist and a bunch of other things and make that more fun. Good. All right. Well, then Merc hates you. <laughs> now she's just specked into being a whore. <laughs> No experience for tonight? Nope. Damn it, that's something I forgot to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so... She looks at the two of them and she says... Do you mind if the two of us have... Like, she looks at... She points to her and Stig. Two of us have a moment alone? I mean, I know it's your house and you guys all have uh, a right to the space. But I need to talk to him for a moment. Go for it. You well, while you talk, that's my room. That's Flint's room. You can use the couch. She looks at Stig. Really? You didn't even get one of the rooms? Did you have a fight with Tempest? These are things I don't care about. It's a couch. It's a place to sleep. It was a fight he knew he couldn't win. Like most of them. She looks at you kind what? of surprised. And then she looks at Stig. Merc, if you want to fight, you can just say the word. But... And she just kind of she, she puts no. her hands on her shoulders and she's like, "Can we? Can we talk? Like now?" <laughs> Everyone drinks some Amistek. We're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna punch face. Flint, you want to head out? We'll give them their privacy. Sure. All right, may as well. If you make a mess on the couch, though, clean it up. To have some tact. She just gives you a little salute. Absolutely. All right, good job. I like her. Stig, can we replace you? She laughs. I don't know if that's the best idea. Well, it's better than anything he suggested. Come on, Flint. <laughs> she just looks at you and she's like, "You really know how to pick them." I took company through the desert. I didn't think they'd stick around. All right, did, so so did you guys leave? The house. Now okay. they yeah. exited the building. She goes. So my birthday's coming up. Polina, why are you here? What'd you get me? I've been away for what two months. I haven't kept track of time. So that's plenty of time to get me something. Sure. I mentioned the part where I was going through the desert. And? I also know you weren't just traveling to the desert. I'm not sure where you were going, but I heard you were going somewhere specific. South of Graia. Took me to Graia. There's tons of shit in Graia. All right, you can make it up to me. You know what I want for my birthday. Yeah, that's not happening. <sighs> First I was too young. Then I looked too young. It's been four years, really? You still can't give that to me for my birthday? Nope. <sighs> well, speaking of birthdays, <laughs> the family's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Zach's a smart guy. Um... She's like, there's going to be a party at our place outside the Gate of Gold. You know. Um, but uh, Mumsicle has invited Fredianos to the party. Oh boy. Your favorite yeah. people. So, <laughs> Uncle a so, Uncle Asmus was wondering who we could get to come to the party and make sure that things stay status quo. Don't necessarily want to kill anyone off right now. We just... We just want things to stay the same. Mumsicle's got dad wrapped around her finger right now, so there's not really much I can do about it. Do you know she tried to marry me off to one of the Fredianos last month? No, Gross. you wouldn't because you weren't here. But yeah, she tried. Well, she's more getting really, really to be a problem. Yeah, but 
you know I stick away from the family stuff. But I know. If, but if you need more muscle, I won't lie, that Flint guy can probably supply it. And if you need a talky person, Merc can probably help out. But with his hair and the fact that he kind of looks like shit, I would love to take him as my date, because you know how much that would piss off Mumsicle. Yeah, that's up to you. I mean, if I mean, unless you wanted to go with me as my as my escort, and not that kind of escort. Either way, <laughs> either way, I'd be getting paid for this, right? Um, yeah. I mean, it's not like we're friends, or you could give me a discount or anything. Uh, I'm stuck in the I'm stuck in the city for a month with these two. The more I can come out with to make it feel like I didn't waste my time, the better. How about this? 50 for the three of you, all night. You don't have to tell them how much I pay you. Everybody gets free food and gets to come to the party. I'm probably going to need to jump in a lake, aren't I? She, she kind of nods. I like you, but this is a bit much. Damn it. And she's like, and don't worry about clothes. You can wear what you normally wear. Having someone of your caliber at the party, people will just be happy to see that Tempest is represented. And if they know you're with me, it probably will be enough to make sure that nothing happens. Hmm. Is there, is there more that's going on when I was talking to Tempest? He made it seem bigger. I'll let you know if it comes to that. But I might have to leave soon. That's all. So, in other words, you're going to want me to tell them about the job? Um... I don't mind. I can tell them. I just... Can we trust them? Can I trust them like I trust you? Well, I will warn you. Well, that Flint did, but or Merc did try to kill a guy in the desert. That was that seemed like he was friendly. I didn't try. I succeeded. So he didn't kill him. He killed himself. He killed with, himself it with most help, asshole. Maybe I shouldn't bring him to as my date then. Uh, keep him away from anything valuable, but if you need a talky guy, I think he'll serve pretty well. It's not like I'd mind if a couple of Mumsicle's brooches went missing. Like I said, that's all up to you. Alright. Then, uh, party's in a week or two. And I expect something good, since you won't give me what I've wanted for four years now. <laughs> She just gives, like, the biggest, most dramatic sigh. Look, Stig, all she's asking for is two and a half inches. <laughs> and you won't even give that to her. Well, I'm not gonna go part way. Anyway. Just a tip. <laughs> but I also need money for cab fare. Okay, so, like, half the shaft. <laughs> That's a whole anyway. inch. Anyway. For 50 gelt. <laughs> anyway. I charge by the inch. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> he goes, well, now that business is out of the way, are we going to party? <coughs> Lead the way. Stick dies. She starts looking for a bottle. Is there, please tell me there's at least a bottle opener. Is there In a the bottle opener? Somewhere. No. How did you open the last bottle that you had? I didn't. Were you I drinking? Drink. I drank at the bar. It? Oh, I thought you were drinking at your house. No. It's a decent bottle of Amasek. Well, I mean, like, what's Normal. the top? It'd be corked. Okay. It'd be corked. Yeah. Amasek's like a wine, so it'd be corked. She just kind of hands it to you. Fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it. You have a penis. Fix it. I'm gonna pull out a 
dagger and hope that gets the... And hope I can use it to get the cork out. How thin is your dagger? <laughs> yeah, good point. <sighs> she just kind of sighs, and she puts it back in the bag. I guess it'll have to wait. Hey, but seriously, the goldsmith whose name I totally know, because, <coughs> yeah... Seriously, is everything okay? Uncle Asmus, well, I haven't been as discreet as I could be, and Uncle Asmus has taken some of the... He'll be fine. He just needs to lay low for a bit. So. <laughs> so, he'd want you to lay low here. I'd like that. And she just kind of smiles at you. You're gonna have to compete with one of them over the bed. I've got the couch already. No and wonder he missed. You. Really? <laughs> so happy. <laughs> what the fuck she is throws going up her on? Hands. She just throws up her hands and she's like, I... I can't even deal with you right now, Steg. And just starts walking out. Ooh, shut down. Happening for four years, Danny. She's so thirsty. You could quench this. <laughs> she walks out and, I don't know, fucks off. Alright. Sig's gonna go sleep on Flint's bed. Not Flint, Merc. Merc's bed? Yeah, Merc's okay. bed. Merc, Flint, what have you guys been doing outside? And by uh, sleep, I just mean close my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, while we're outside, I'm hoping to, uh... The war, is the war, the Empire's wharf busy? Almost consistently, yes. But all the, the wharfs are constantly have boats coming in and out of them. Okay. Uh, what would be a quiet place to talk? The end of the fisherman's row? Towards the tributary over there? Okay. Otherwise, you could go below downwind or find a nice place next to the cemetery, I guess. No, I'm just going to walk Flint over uh, okay. to the shore down that way. Uh, so once we reach there, I'm going to... Uh, pull the uh, letter out of my pocket and uh, show it to him. Was this the letter on the door from earlier? Yeah. Probably best that uh, Stig not see it. What's it say? Well, I fucking handed it to you, so I'm assuming you can read. Oh. If you can speak my gothic. Mm. I thought you just took it out. No, I handed it to you. Gotcha. But if you want to recap, it basically tells me yeah. to meet at <clears throat> in it was the a swamp pond in the Swamp of Secrets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It was a pond in the Swamp of Secrets? It just said, meet me in the Swamp of uh, Night Secrets mm. tonight after the moon is full. Yeah. And we have to talk about, about our mutual ciphers. Yeah. Postscript, please come alone. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do about it? I just thought I'd let you know where I was going tonight. I plan on honoring that and going alone, but it uh, sure would be nice if someone knew where I went if I don't show back up by tomorrow morning or if you find my corpse in the river. Okay. Well, if Stig asks, I'll just say you went to the bar or something. So, I plan on going alone, but you wouldn't mind staying relatively close by, would you? No. At least, I, I suppose you probably wouldn't be, because would I be able to see over to the Swamp of Secrets from here? I don't know how far oh, that yeah, actually no, you, is. You can. It's, you, you can, can measure it. Yeah, it's yeah. like 200. This is all 200? accurate. You can't, it's, 
It's 200 from shore to shore. Yeah. It's obviously, like, wow. you know, bogged oh, in, but you can see the outline, like, you can see the trees and stuff. <clears throat> okay. Like, you wouldn't be able to see if anyone was actually in it right now, but you can see yeah. it. Actually, on second thought, Flint, uh, probably just best that you keep Stig busy tonight. I wouldn't want you wandering around uh, well, late at night. Not that you can't. That with that chick around, he might be keeping himself busy. God, I hope not. <laughs> the thought is revolting. <laughs> wow, thanks, bro. Yes. Hey, hey, maybe if uh, Flint wants to fucking ask some questions, there's some reasons there, but nope. Zach, he doesn't. Stop I'm not meddling. <laughs> Zach, stop crazy. Meddling. Anyways, so, uh,. Well, probably the best that you uh, don't walk around the streets at night, seeing as Joanna and I were assaulted last time we did that. Yeah. Not that I don't think you can handle yourself, but I'll probably best not to just house. put yourself in that situation. I'll probably stay at the house. If Stick leaves, I don't know, maybe I'll go with him. All right. Or set the couch on fire. Could do that. Yeah. Yeah, but then you might have to actually sleep in one of our rooms. Better leave it. Yeah. Good point. I could probably find him some nice hay somewhere. Jesus Christ, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> you were you. <laughs> Have we not covered this yet? You. We love you, Devin. <laughs> yeah. Devin, I'll buy you Pedro's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping okay, maybe he does that. love you. <laughs> so. Uh, that was really all I had to share. I just wanted you to know where I was going tonight. All but right. I still think it's in our best interest not to uh, tip our hat about Cyphus. I don't know I don't know if Cyphus was trustworthy, but with what he told us about Tempest, I wouldn't uh, don't necessarily want him knowing either. Yeah. Well, hopefully make it back in one piece and you can tell me what happened. All right. So, good, good luck. Being said, yeah. Thank you. And with that being said, I don't think. Uh, I mean, it we, it took us some time to walk down here and have our conversation. So she's probably gone at this point. So we're gonna head back. Okay. You get back to an empty house, apparently. No. Exactly. <laughs> It's the second time I've ever heard that. It's it not, is not. It is not even remotely the second time. I will ever. fucking go back and count them. <laughs> it's like the 90th time you've ever heard that. That's lowballing it, too. I hate my life so much. <laughs> so, yeah, you get back to an empty house. Uh, Stig's nowhere to be seen when you walk in, and neither is uh, Paulina. Wait, didn't he go to sleep on my bed? Yeah. Yep. I said when you walk in. Oh. It's not it. like you walked into your bedroom. You just <laughs> opened the door, and he's not oh, there. Resting huh. my eyes, the fucking criers woke me up earlier. I don't like that. I need my beauty sleep. Well, looks like Stig and her left, maybe? <sighs> Whatever. By the uh, way, I fucked off to go buy a corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Can I get one for one guilt? Because it's really not that big a thing. It's not something I want to hold on to for forever. Yeah, I'm aware. Nah, it's cool. going to be crucial in like 20 sessions. Yeah. Oh. Does she still have the corkscrew? Be the only way to save one of your lives. She didn't want nope. it, and it only nope. cost her a guilt, so it's gone now. No, she doesn't. We're all fucked. If you had a corkscrew, you could have gotten out of this uh, slowly sinking... <laughs> Uh, ship right now, but you can't. So you're dead. Anyway. Okay. And I steal glasses from Uncle Asmus, so I don't have to pay for them. Okay. <laughs> but you can't steal a corkscrew you from take your own house. Screw from it. Yeah, I'll do that too. <laughs> I want his glasses, but I'm too good for his corkscrew. I'll go buy one for one geld. Exactly. I'll go buy a cheapo. Yeah. All this right. one's made of uh graphite okay yeah 
So after a while, I come back. Probably after they're back. I'm aware. I mean, all the way back to your house. I imagine you're not yeah. quite here yet as we walk in. No, 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 no. Anyways, so, so you guys well, I'm walk not going in. to my house. All right. Um. Yeah. So we walk in. He's not here, and I guess I'm gonna move towards my room. I'm gonna so go pee while you guys figure out where each other is. Right. Where you each other you, is. You see Steve yes. Lang, I'm uh, terrible at grammar. Spread eagle on your bed. <laughs> Jesus All right. Christ! Is he asleep? Yeah. Well, he's, he's closed his eyes. Oh. All right. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and unholster my pistol and uh, aim it at his head. Okay. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's so good. I'm just going to wait there for a couple seconds, if you notice that I entered the room. If not... Stig, are you asleep? Nope, but... Considering I haven't opened my eyes yet, I'm just going to smirk a little. Okay. Oh, Stig. <sighs> That's my name. Whose bed is this? Tempest's. Who's using it? Right now I'd say I would am. Wrong answer. We respect other people's belongings in this homestig. Get <laughs> off of my bed. It's not yours. It will be shortly if you don't move. I open my eyes. Oh, so you only want to play when you have the upper hand. Yes. You figured it out. Good job. I'd clap, but that would require to take my hand off of my gun. Yeah, I was just about <laughs> to do that, Richard. <laughs>